Long time no see, eh? So, um, last year we had made some observations and one of our most brilliant developers had gone forth um, testing an enhancement to the rating system. Um, and I had attempted to collaborate and I fucked up, so... Yep, we're gonna try to fix my fuck up. So that's the plan. Let me obtain um uh let's show. So locally I have reverted revert ratings for first player advantage. So this got merged and then reverted because it doesn't work. And so now I'm atoning for this by fixing it to work. So that's the plan. Um, yeah, no, the key concept here, though, is that uh, the first player has an advantage for moving first, and therefore the rating system needs to account for this. Um, oops, okay, my branch is deleted. I should at some point recreate it. Whatever. Um, but yeah, this code change objectively improves the rating system. So white has a win rate of 51.5% or so. Um, and it's not fair that this is not reflected in the rating system. So I am attempting to reflect this reality in the rating adjustments that take, game, uh, take place after a game. Um, so, um, it's, <laughs> uh, it's complicated. And you know why this is complicated? There's four little letters at the end here that let you know that things are going to be complicated. Um, no slight against Oracle, but... It is maddening just how much these four letters can cause projects to get really confusing. So code can be written in so many different uh, different paradigms and it's super easy to write code and um, deploy it to many devices. And that is excellent. And then they've written such an environment that can run on so many devices and they support it. And it, that is great. What's less great is just that this language is too flexible. And it's very easy to write things that do not work. Unless you've written the entire application from scratch yourself it can be daunting to figure out how to change someone else's code and to change your code and to link the two together and expect things to function. You just, I'm not even joking, those four letters. Anyway, how's this going in terms of compiling all the new stuff? Um, also, how am I ever going to get the web side of this working? I don't know. So this, I used to host an Nginx reverse proxy server. I've taken it down at recommendation of the Leechess team that I don't need it. But like, what's the alternative? I don't understand. Why isn't it reading that Scala? Well, okay. We should figure this out, right? Um, okay. How do I just look at a file? Uh, modules, rating, etc. Main Java, Glico 2. Modules, rating, Java, Glico 2. Where'd it go? Rating, source, main, Java, Glico 2. 
So the question is, why is this not rating .scala? Here's the license file produced by Jeremy Gooch. All rights reserved. Restri redistribution and use in source and binary forms with or without modification are permitted, provided that the following conditions are met. Uh, this copyright notice is contained with them and binary format must also contain the copyright notice. The software is provided as is without any express or implied warranties, etc. Um, Jeremy Gooch, copyright 2013. That's the BSD license that insulates him from any kind of liability. Um, copyright Jeremy Gooch 2013. This license covering the contents of this file is described in license.txt, which should have been included as part of the distribution containing this file. Package org.goochjs.glico2. So, yeah, the reason this is not uh, rating.scala is because Jeremy Gooch had provided a very useful library and an open source license under which it can be reused and provided a lot of really good code that works quite well for one particular use case. Um, so it works. That's why it's rating.java. We are able to take a wheel and reuse it rather than reinventing the wheel. Um, that's what this is about. Um, that is an important question, sadly, because that's also like it underscores the need for me to have written a test. And at the time I had written my patch, I was too busy to have produced a test. Uh, you can either take my word for that or not. I can't really justify it, but I was too busy. It's just, that's how things were. Um, so I was unable to get through testing at that time. Um, and finally, uh, as today I'm actually on vacation, I am coding. So, yeah, uh, we're finding time to get this done correctly. Um, and the coding is fun. I'm just saying that, like, this is my thought of a vacation. Uh, at present. Um, so, um, what have we here? We've got Redis, MongoD. Okay, yeah, stuff that's necessary is up and running. Good. Uh, so, just have to wait for this to come up. The main application server for LeechS. Let me check one thing, just to make sure I've not done something terrifically stupid. Okay, yeah. So even though I put the word leeches in my stream title, I have deliberately omitted .org, because this is coding, and folks on leeches.org would rather not watch paint dry. So uh, we'll keep up our reputation from that standpoint. Um, so, oh. Gosh darn it. Um, that's not good. All right, SBT clean. Purge all the stuff. Wait, have I recently upgraded my Java version? Perhaps is that something? Java double dash version? Yeah, okay, that's probably it. So we'll first use the build tool to clean up as much crap as it can. And then once the build tool fails to clean things up, then we'll remove the local dot IV2, IVY2 directory, which I don't even understand half of this stuff, but um, let's do that and rerun my magic build script and hope things compile. Uh, how do we delay for time? 
Uh, rating period results. So this is actually pretty advanced. This will say that for an entire rating period, we're going to produce a whole bunch of rating results. Honestly, somebody, anybody could rewrite this code in Scala. Anybody like qualified enough. Some folks have actually rewritten it. And I've taken one of the Scala-based rewrites and asked our team if they're interested in it. And they, our team were saying, well, this Scala rewrite contains all these Greek characters in the source code because somebody had, like literally transcribed uh, Mark Glickman's uh, formulas and source code using Greek characters instead of their uh, English equivalents. So um, that suggestion of mine was declined because how the fuck would we support code written not in English. It was all well commented and it all worked and I demonstrated that but like we just were not prepared to support that although we're prepared to support this Java code because it works. This Java code has always worked for its original purpose. It's reliable. I just wish somebody had actually written this in Scala but at the time perhaps Scala was not available or I don't know. I don't know everything. Scala is a great language. Kotlin's decent language with a different purpose. Um, but yeah, there's just a ton of stuff to be considered for rating purposes. Uh, is this the rating calculator? Is it, does this contain all the rating code? No, I don't think so. I'm sorry, it does contain step 5.2, 5.3, etc. So. Yeah, and here's all the rest of the steps. So you have step 5 above here. And then after step 5, you have step 6 and step 7. And I forget where step 1 is. But, like, it's a little tricky to navigate a little bit this code. But it all functions and it's performant. If this were to be rewritten, it would perform better. It would function just as well. But this works, so why break it? Well, it's the only reason to break it is because, like, the rating system is itself broken. So, yeah, my patch for whatever reason just did not work at all. So, that's what I'm trying to fix. I changed rating.java. Uh, I changed rating calculator.java. I changed perfs updater.java. This is the easiest to read change of all of mine. Where I said we're going to take this player rating and give them an advantage. And take this rating and give them a disadvantage. Um, and possibly that might have been the mistake. You only recently figured out Java's not... Wait, Java's not JavaScript? Okay. Um, <laughs> you sure there's those are different things? Okay. How do you know? What if Java actually is JavaScript? So... Chuck Norris can see in 3D with just one eye. All right, so I've got my coding change here. I'm going to go modules uh, rating source name Java. Let go to rating dot. What? Uh, oh, right. Rating dot Java. So this I made return a different object. Um, this is probably my mistake. This probably needs to return this and needs to cause a side effect. This dot, uh, what's it called? Advantage is equal to advantage. That's probably my mistake. 
If I had to guess, but I don't know. So, probably this entire misunderstanding was caused by my returning a new rating instead of reusing and mutating the existing rating. Now, for that to be possible, uh, this thing I've declared up here is final double. It's no longer final. And so this can no longer be called with advantage to produce a new structure. This is going to be called set advantage um, to declare to the world that we're actually causing a, a breaking side effect. Uh, so I have to go up one somewhere here. Where am I? Starts me in Java. Let's. Wait. Oh, source main. There's not even a Scala directory here. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, I don't care. Where's perfs updater? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, modules. CD round source main perfs updater. That's not a directory. Okay, with advantage. Those are all the matches for it. Set advantage. Potentially, this could cause side effects, which break everything else. The fact that now I've mutated white and I've mutated black. So whoever called this doesn't expect that now there's a white advantage mutated here. Um, it's complicated, but I think in practice it should work, but God, it's ugly. Um, all right, so I think that was my blunder. It was just that I was trying to be a bit puristic and say that we're going to add this new attribute called advantage and this new attribute um, is never going to change once you've constructed the object because this could cause other rating code to break if it does change. So yeah, I even introduced this get glico2 rating with advantage here. Um, anyway. Wait. Is this consumed by anything? Uh, possibly my rating code has failed for other reasons too. I'm just searching specifically Scala files. <laughs> um, okay, is get click 2 rating the base form? used anywhere. No. The fuck? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I want to also include Java files. So rating calculator. Um, rating calculator doesn't even consume my new function. That's probably also a bug. Um, so, yeah, this probably needs to be with advantage. I knew, or I felt that I was missing something. It's just impossible to get every little last detail right. Um... All right, so if I search for consumers of, whoops, yeah, there's my Java consumer, um, what? Uh, 
Uh, okay. So the part I had even tried to make, it's just was not there at all. All right, so now I've redirected. Um, I'm just astounded how badly I missed the mark in my initial mad science effort. So there's no Scala code calling my new function. But all the job. Oh, hang on. What have I changed now? Um, 204 and 94. Let's take a look. Possibly I was overzealous here. So, if a player does not compete during the rating period, okay, then they don't have a color during their competition. Um, 204 here. Is this just a player who's not competed during the period? Like, why? Uh, this is a function processing described in step five of Glickman's paper. Um... Hmm. I'm not so sure about this part. What's this function called? Um, calculate new rating. Uh, void calculate. There's only one of these. Oh, that does not make me feel good. Well, no, it's probably fine. Outcome-based rating. Um, yeah, no, I think maybe I missed a step. Jeez. That is scary. Ah, it's good that I get to figure this out. All right, what chat have I missed? What happened to set advantage? Why w So the notion with with advantage um, is that normally you'd be constructing a new data structure. If you use the word with, you are talking about a fluent builder designer pa or design pattern. If you're talking about set, you are talking about a mutable state, mutable object pattern. Which tends, which brings with it a lot of difficult to analyze consequences. Thanks, stay healthy, bot. Actually, I was going to condemn you for this, but I have my water right here. So I didn't like yell, being yelled at by stay healthy, bot, but it actually saved me. And that's why I'd set it up in the first place, is to remind me about this. Tea is also nice. Thank you, Stay Healthy Bot. Alright, so... <sighs> okay, what happened in my original attempt? My original attempt, I'd only indicated four places that needed this new function. The actual results computation section. Um, Outcome-based rating. And then V. Which is the new volatility. So what is this third part? Set the player's new working rating. Oh, I'm sorry. I know why now. This here takes the player's actual rating. What your set working rating is a terrible name for a function, but what you're trying to do is say, given these inputs, what should the next working rating for this player be? It would be better to call this function player.update working rating, not pass in the Glico 2 rating, 
because you should already know what the Glico 2 rating is. So, like, this here, this computation, Glico 2 rating plus all this, no. What you should be doing is calling, I want to update the player's working rating given parameters phi or phi, given parameter based on the outcome-based rating, or even, like, given the lambda function, or just have the other function call out based, outcome-based rating directly, given this player and results. So set working rating, terrible, terrible name for a function. Um, I mean, the code works. It's just not super easy to reason about. And it's good to have a single responsibility method here, set working rating. But these three lines of code should be one line of code that's some other function that calls these three lines of code. Um, and why should that be the case? Uh, because the you're asking to set the working rating, and in order to set the working rating, you're calling the player object for data. You're asking it to give you data that you don't need. You should be giving all this to some calculator collaborator class. Anyway, um, yeah, this get glico2 rating it functions. But this is how you end up with code that nobody understands. Um, so can I understand what this line here is? Why are we multiplying? Why are we squaring phi or phi? We're squaring phi, multiplying it, multiplying it times the outcome-based rating. Um, I don't understand. I just don't like this. I'm going to find set working rating. I'm going to create a new function called update working rating. And um, it's going to do this a, a different way. This is just not intelligible. And unfortunately, making this particular code change is going to risk the entire change. Wait, where is player? Um, what is player? Uh, the fuck? We'll scroll up for the definition of player. Whatever... Okay, player is an instance of a rating. So the class we're looking for is actually rating. Function we're looking for is... set working rating, right? Um, this is so confusing. Jeez. Note that the newly calculated rating values are stored in a working area in the rating object. See, this kind of assumption should just not be here. This should be Javadoc. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 lines of code. That should be Javadoc somewhere. Um, so here we got all these setter functions. Um, I'm going to drop in all this code here. Um, set working rating is a terrible function name. How about Asta? Alright, so we'll come up with a better function name in a second. So, no gas diff down here. And 
And instead of calling player, well, now we're in the player construct. So we don't need to do all that. Um, now what's missing here is that it's not really possible to do this outcome-based rating analysis in this function. Um, update working rating um, and results. So what we're asking for is some double whatever that quantity is going to be and int increment uh, increment number results uh, here we go so asked if it would be this oh we also need a new uh, value for working rating deviation uh, So I'm going to call this working rating increment. I don't know. It needs a name. But yeah, this is going to be get glico 2 rating plus working rating increment. Now you might say, why are we calling set working rating get glico 2 rating? Why are we even calling this other function get glico 2 rating? That's a good question. Because, like, we know what that variable is called. Oh, I'm sorry, it's not a variable, it has to actually be evaluated. Um, oh, that's also wrong. Oh, wait, no, here it is. Get Glico2 rating, convert to Glico2 scale, so fine. So this expression down here is what we seek. Um... Um, do, do, do. so oh increments perhaps it's fine you just need to punctuate that and this is the function we should be calling from that other thing working rating increment working rating deviation and results um so over wherever the fuck it was uh this thing that's our new function that we're going to be calling on the rating instance and we have some value here and then we have new phi and results dot size um then this step here double asdf is equal to this expression uh, here now is asdf a good name for that no um but that functions all right um is there a way to get the number of users logged into LeechS? Um, you could challenge every logged in user to a game. Uh, that's not the question you're trying to ask. You're asking, like, how do I do this? Not, is that possible? Um, so, I don't, well, on the, on leechess.org, there is a number shown on the homepage or lobby page. Is that accurate? I don't know. But does it suffice for your purpose? It depends what your question is. Um, so I should at this point go back to the paper 
and see what this term is called. Um, so I'm just going to go here and say step eight, question mark. I don't remember what's in the paper. Let go to. No. All right. Let go to. Uh, example of the Glico2 system. Step seven, step, oh, step eight is the conversion back to original scale. Okay. Um, so, yeah, it's this step here that I'm needing to encode, I think. I have no idea. Um, update the rating to one divided by one over the square plus one over that. Really? That's not how I read what was here originally. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. There's new phi. My mistake. New phi is here. Uh, new mu is what we're looking for. All right, so new mu. Um, new mu. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, that's not accurate. Because it's omitting this part. Um... New mu minus mu. Uh, new mu change. All right. Yeah, we're just going to call this mu increment. Uh, there we go. I know my Greek. Not really. Yeah. Yeah. So for all the crap that players have bitched about ratings in the past, I'm probably one of the very few players to have actually read how ratings work. Everybody just tells, tells an intuition about, well, you think it works this way. <laughs> it's science. These things are knowable. You can understand ratings if you are so determined. If you want to listen and discuss, you can figure these things out if you actually give a shit. Uh, but yeah. Most players would be like, oh, that doesn't look right. You know, they might be right. But if they care, if they want to persuade anyone, they gotta persuade people. Uh, there we go. Jeez, that was painful. Now, that's one piece of the puzzle, right? Um, because that's not the only place that gets updated, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um... <laughs> I'm just going to space that out, because why not? Um, hmm. All right, so can my new function work for the other thing? I don't know. Oops, my mistake. This thing. Can that even work here? Like, set mu increments just going to be zero here. New fee. I don't know. Oh, hang on. Um, set working rating, get glico2 rating, calculate new rd. 
hang on. Uh, do, do, do new fee is equal to something. I think that new fee is our new rating deviation here. Wait, no, that's not right. <laughs> uh, that's not right. Um, <laughs> but yeah, let's calculate new RD. What is this doing? Calculate new R. Oh, what? Oh, math square root of this. All right. Uh, does this look even remotely correct? Does this look remotely correct? I don't remember. Well, compare this to the other thing. Jesus. Um. Wait, player set working ready. Yeah, well, let me see. Take a look at this. There's one other way to do this analysis. Um. So previously, can I open up this file as a whole? I need the entire file if you don't mind. So there's our entire file. So previously we would compute new fee, new phi, and just pass that in to set working rating deviation. Well, here we're computing a value. It's not new phi, but um, it is new phi, really. That's exactly what it is. So new phi is equal to this thing. Set working volatility. Player get volatility. Why? Why do we need to set the working volatility? That's not necessary. You're getting the volatility and setting it back. Whatever. Oh, I'm sorry. There is a, a meaning. There is a method to that madness. That's fine. Um... So no, maybe. <laughs> God damn it. Uh so what's the working volatility even used for? Uh hang on. Set working volatility, get volatility. Does the volatility step impact my new function in any way? Um, that's the question here. Um, that's the only question here. Is Does update, working, rating, and results depend on the value of volatility? I think the answer is no. Um, I'm sorry. Um, maybe. The answer is definitely maybe at this point. Um, so... Calculate new RD. We did this after doing this volatility thing. Oh, I'm sorry. We're using the volatility to compute the RD. Okay, that is... If I just look at the definition of get volatility... So 
set working volatility. Oh, okay. So that does get blanked out at the very end of the computation. Um, why is it need, necessary to set that in advance here? Um, calculate new RD. Where is volatility used in any of these steps? God, where is it used? Calculate new RD. Preview deviation. Okay, that's fine. Uh, calculate new rating. So, yeah, at the start of calculate new rating, this particular function needs that value to produce A and all these other values. Eventually, a new sigma gets produced here. Um, based on some pretty awesome calculus. Um, so, we'll go back up here. So, I can say double new sigma is equal to where did I get volatility? Uh, this so there can be no confusion about what's going on here. Um, So this estimates a new rating deviation based on the player being inactive for the full rating period. <sighs> Note if a player does not compete during the rating period, then only step six applies. So step six, this is the only thing that changes. Volatility does not change. Um, but the rating deviation increases. So I did this correctly. Um, Jeez, that's confusing. Uh, so I think that about does it. Um, that was a fun little adventure. Now, I say that about does it in terms of I think I've written this correctly this time. I never verified the error that I encountered the first time or the error Lee just encountered on my behalf. Um, uh, if cached will show... Uh, do, do, do. All right. 68.18. It. Um, so instead of saying I'm going to revert or revert, etc., I'm going to just nope. Uh, take two. Um, Do I want to rewrite any of this description? Perhaps. Um, oh, this is rework. All right. Um, now, the, this is the not a good branch name to put this on. Um, so I want to create a branch 
get check out the rating advantage two. All right. So we'll push this to my version of the repository. Um, wow, it's taken a while to compress and send all that. Meanwhile, has this built all my changes yet? Uh, is the site live? I don't know. Maybe. Um, had enough fun looking at this formula. All right. Um, so, yeah, we'll push this, put the word work in progress into the commit message, just so there cannot be confusion. Um, so let's go to a list of pull requests, compare pull request, uh, draft, not yet tested. There we go. Work in progress, not yet tested, draft. I don't know if I can at this at this point I hope that I've communicated clearly this is a draft and this uh needs testing. Uh unfortunately this is what my local instance of Leechess looks like, so <sighs> yeah, I'll need help testing it. Um So, uh, I'll seek help. We'll find a way to get this tested somehow. I have no idea what errors I'm encountering now. Um, my public folder should con should contain the assets. Um, uh, do I have any files? I don't know how to compile the public assets and distribute them. Somehow there's some way to get whatever files are missing here deployed. I have no idea. There is a way. But, um, yeah. Uh, fuck if I know. So. Also, Leech's Lobby is not defined at index 6. Uh, like, I don't know what to do. Um, no, I'm sorry. I know what to do. I need to reread all the tutorials and videos and stuff like that. And I don't want to bore you all with those details. So, uh, well, at least I've rewritten the rating code. I'll see if I can come up with some way to test it without having to deploy it, because deploying is a nightmare right now for me on my particular instance. Maybe I want to check this out and build it on Windows instead. Some people have had success with that. Maybe that's what I need to be doing. I don't know. But anyway, here's the issue. Uh, so uh, we'll see how things go. Yeah, it'll be fun. Eventually we'll get there. The path might be long and painful and difficult, but... Um, yeah, let's stay optimistic for now. Yeah, I like this particular change, set glico2 rating, like what the fuck? Not just because there's a git method does not mean there should be a set method. Uh Kevlin Henny explains like this get set matching causes so many headaches. Um you don't need to have a set method just because you have a get method. That's not how coding works. That's not how software works, it's not how anything works. Do you have I mean this is how some things work, but like 
just because you have a function to get food and consume it does not mean you have a function to unconsume the food. Just because you have a way to like get to work does not mean that you have a way to unget to work or set to work. Like um though those are contrived examples. I'm trying to think of a good example, I promise, but come on. My point stands anyhow, even if I'm not arguing it correctly. So I should have converted this to Javadoc. I didn't. Shame on me. <sighs> I still should at some point, but more importantly, this compiles and I'm able to run my local instance. It's just the entire site's completely unusable this way. Um, that's unfortunate. Um, more fortunate is that Leech has released a new pu new feature, Puzzle Racer, which is extraordinary and awesome and very exciting. So I encourage people to check that out. But yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed this coding session. This went better than most, so thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time.